Andrew's on Casey Neistat's Whoa! vlog. I made it! He made it Mom, on made Casey it. Neistat's vlog. Okay, now they open the doors and let everybody in, and then I go backstage and hide, and then they tell me to come out, and I come back out. What's up? If this is Casey Neistat's camera, what's up, bro? Nice to meet you. What's up, guys? Andrew Stewart from Boost Football here. As you can see, I'm in the middle of this field. That being said, with my location, this video doesn't have anything to do with soccer. So if you're here for soccer content, you can just skip it or you can stick around to see what I have to say. So anyways, as my dog follows me around, this is a story about how I met a massive inspiration of mine and one of the biggest growing channels on YouTube that is the legend himself, Casey Neistat. To make a long story short, which I'm kind of bad at doing, I've always wanted to go to this conference called Story Conference down in Nashville. It's a conference for entrepreneurs and creatives and just a lot of cool people. I heard the Casey Neistat was going and uh, I absolutely had to go because along with a bunch of other really cool people, Casey Neistat was going to be there and I really wanted to hear him speak. I'm from Rochester, New York and I decided to make the long trek down to Nashville. It's about 11 and a half to 12 hours on a good day but uh, due to construction and weather and traffic it ended up being 13 and a half hours uh, by the time I got to Nashville. So Casey didn't speak the first day. Second day, super pumped. I was hoping I, I could see him, hoping I could get in one of his vlogs. The day before I had found this place that makes just fresh pressed smoothies and juices. It's called Daily Juice. Second day, I'm away there walking into Nashville. I had the idea, well if you're a regular uh, viewer of Casey Neistat, you know that he loves um, green drinks, okay? He's always going on about green drinks. So I had this crazy idea like, okay, I'm going to buy a green drink and maybe give it to him if I see him. So pick up the green drink, head to the conference. So I'm sitting there waiting um, for the conference to start and I go on YouTube and I see that Casey Neistat has crossed the five million subscriber mark. Conference has their own Twitter story conference and they tweeted me and said, hey, would you like to ask Casey any questions for the q and I said, yeah, of course I would. So I tweeted out our regular, you know, how do you grow your, how did you grow your subscribers and how did you grow your community? A standard question that anyone had for Casey, right? And then on a whim, I said, okay, I'm going to ask them about the green juice, the green juice. So I said, hey, uh, Ask Casey if he'd be interested in getting the green juice. Oh, by the way, this is my brother John. He introduced me to Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat's the man. And uh, he's kind of mad that I got to meet him. A little bit jealous. Before him. But anyways, yeah. back to the story. Before the conference starts, I noticed that there's this camera with a tripod that looks oddly like Casey Neistat's. It was either a Canon 70D or a Canon 80D. Kind of like the rig I have right here. So I walk up to the platform, it's facing out towards the audience. There's all these people behind me. I'm like, all right, this is gonna look stupid, but I'm gonna talk into it anyways in case it's Casey's camera. And so I say, I lean over and I say, What's up, if this is Casey Neistat's camera, what's up bro, nice to meet you. And that was the moment I ended up in a Casey Neistat vlog. After I spoke into the camera, I had no idea if that was his camera or not. I was like, this could be any YouTuber, honestly, filming for a time lapse. And actually some guy came along and took the camera and went backstage with it. So I was like, darn it, it's not Casey's camera. So anyways, the Q&A starts, up comes a Twitter question. Some kid asks like, uh, how often do you sleep or something like that? The very next question, I kid you not, up comes my question. And it's not about YouTube community, it's asking him if I want the drink. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, he's gonna get the green drink. So he goes, Andrew, um, that's very nice of you. I'd love the drink but apparently you didn't get the memo. Uh, there's burritos out back, and I had- Is there like seven of them? So I'll take it from you and be like, oh, no, stay out there. I'm just gonna go back and throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> so Casey and I sat, dissed me in front of the whole crowd, and it was great. I couldn't care less. He saw my tweet, he knew I bought him a drink. Didn't matter. After the Q&A, the conference stops. We have a meet and greet. Great audience here in Nashville. Right now we're gonna go do some sort of uh, like meet and greet or something like that, but. All right, let's go. And there's a massive line to meet him. So, of 
course I get in line to go meet the guy and it's finally my turn and of course I didn't have a camera in my hand I only had my cell phone because I had a drink I had two different green drinks for I was like in case he doesn't want this one then maybe he'll want this one so I go up to him like dude nice to meet him I slap him up actually you can see me right here in his vlog I have to slow it down a lot because it's a time lapse but there I am he goes you're the juice guy I'm like yep I'm the juice guy Hello neighbors. I ask him which one do you want? I want, do you want the cold snap or eucalyptus green tea feel good about your, they both had separate names. He said, I'll take the cold snap. So I leave, leave the drink with him, go my merry way. I'm watching Sarah Dietschy's Snapchat story later on, the, later on in the night. If you don't know who she is, link to her channels over here. Casey Neistat gave her a shout out a couple months ago for making a um, video about how he vlogs really cool video you should check it out so anyway she's exploded her YouTube account has exploded and rightly so because her work is fantastic she's working with Adobe right now in New York City anyways check her out she her snapchat story says that she's sick and she's complaining about being sick and then she shows this drink and wouldn't you know it's green drink and cold snap cold snap is the exact same one I gave Casey and he's friends with her remember he said he's gonna throw it out earlier so question is, did Casey Neistat drink the drink I bought him, or did he give it to Sarah? Honestly, I don't care either way who drank it. Casey Neistat's a cool dude. Sarah's a cool chick. And if she drank it, I hope she's feeling a lot better. Um, actually, if any of you guys are friends with Casey or Sarah and you happen to see this video, share it with them. Bug them about it. Maybe they'll see it. And uh, they'll know that I gave them the drink. Anyways, it's a huge mystery. One the world will never know. Kind of like the Bermuda Triangle. It's pretty much on par with that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, comment if you have any questions. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Also, this is kind of a video that has nothing to do with soccer at all, which is what I'm focused on, and that's making soccer videos. So, I'm actually going to be using my personal channel, which has like just random videos from college that are really low quality, but I'm gonna start using that channel. The link to that will be right here. I'm going to start using that channel to post videos like this, like if I have a story to tell. Um, I'll be posting the Iceland trip, the whole like the, sc the scenic side of it and the whole vibes of the country. I'll be posting an Iceland trip. I went to the Rockies a couple months ago uh, for my brother's wedding. I'm going to post that on my, on my uh, personal YouTube. Just stuff that doesn't have anything to do with soccer. I'm going to post it over there just so there's a home for it and just so I can continue to develop my skills as a videographer and other areas besides soccer. So, if you enjoyed this video, there's gonna be more like it over there, exploring cities and traveling and whatnot. Anyways, thanks to all the new subscribers that found me through Casey Neistat's vlog. I thought I should make a video about how I met Casey just so there's like a backstory to why I ended up being in that vlog. It was really cool to meet Casey since he's a huge inspiration. It was super cool to be on the vlog. And it was really cool to get new subscribers like all you guys who are commenting and letting me know that you saw me in the vlog. YouTube's a pretty cool community. I will see you guys later.